Hey, what is going on, you guys? It is Tupa Player Negative AE, and welcome back to the second episode of Valhalla. Well, this is technically the fourth episode of Valhalla, uh, but second episode today. Uh, let's go. It's not safe to keep playing. Good. <clears throat> so we had our break, but we served like three people last time, so I don't know. <clears throat> Boss should clean the chicken buckets, she throws out. Everyone can smell the spice from a mile away. Does it really matter? Can we put this here? Can we like remove this? Yeah, we can. <clears throat> but every day is night there. Maybe synth stitch. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Mix it up. <clears throat> you know, we could take a couple minutes more, you know. Or you could take a couple minutes more than you know. Uh, I'm fine, thanks. How did you get the helmet off? <clears throat> Turns out the release button was jammed with ashes. Whoever owns that helmet sure made sure to use it to the point of voiding the warranty. Keep it safe in case she comes back, okay? <clears throat> now, take it away from me before I feel compelled to put it on again. Right. Yes, it's open. Great. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh my. Good evening. Um, what kind of place is this? Did I step into some kind of afterlife? Do you often enter places without knowing what they are? Sorta. Uh, kinda. Yeah? Well, this is a bar. <laughs> a bar? Nice, nice. What can I get you? I don't know. I don't drink that much, to be honest. What do you recommend for me? What do you normally enjoy? I like tea. That's not something I can work with. Uh, what about flavors? Bitter, but not too bitter? Sorry if it's too confusing. Something bitter, but not too much. Maybe something bitty, bitter and girly? <laughs> Let me see what I can get you. Alright, how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna go to flavor, I'm gonna go to bitter. And I'm gonna look at all these. Probably Sunshine Cloud, right? And then I'm gonna go by type and go girly. Yeah, Sunshine Cloud is exactly right. Just by the name of it, uh, it sounds pretty girly. Uh, I don't wanna make it big. I don't know what she is. Wow, that's real small. And she's new to this, so I don't wanna make it big. All on the rocks and blended. <laughs> Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, stop. <clears throat> that is a perfect sun cloud. Try this. Yep, this will do just fine. Thanks. You don't look like you're from around here. What brought you by, miss? I'm the star that always shines in the dark night sky. <clears throat> I'm the glow that will guide you through your sorrow. I'm the northern light that will show you your dreams. I'm Kira Mickey. So should I call you Miss Mickey or Miss Kira? No, you're not getting it. I'm just Kira Mickey. Here, let me help you. I'll say Kira, and you say Mickey, okay? Okay. Kira. M Mickey. <laughs> no, 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 no. Put more spirit into it. Kira. M Mickey. Almost there. Kira. Mickey. Kira. Mickey. Kira. Mickey. Kira. God damn it, how many... <laughs> Mickey. That's it. Are you feeling it? Kira. Everyone. Mickey. <coughs> Kira. What the fuck is going on? Why so many times? And even the assassin dude's in on it? And don't you ever forget it. What the hell am I doing out here? Where are we, Jamie? R right, I was telling you... Wow, you're good. Thank you. It's nice to know I still have it. Especially since I have a concert in a... Oh, snap. Concert? 
plot line. You're the Lilim that's putting on a concert tonight, right? I'm one Lilim who's putting on a concert tonight. I don't know if it's the same Lilim you're looking for. <clears throat> and what are you doing all the way down here? Well, they were making preparations for the last concert, so I snuck out. My producer is always obnoxious while that's going on, so I decided to leave. I saw one of the concert posters outside and decided to check this place. <clears throat> Just that? Isn't that a bit dangerous? Won't your producer be mad when you go back? He will, but it's not the first time I've done this. And he still needs me to do the concert anyway. <clears throat> I see. How big is the concert? We planned for a bit over 100,000 people and sold out fast. <clears throat> so we managed to secure ourselves another show in a couple of weeks. Well, that's nice. Yeah, I may not have as many fans as other performers, but mine are very loyal, and that's nice. Aww. That's all that matters, girl. <clears throat> uh, yeah, 100,000 is not that many? Then what exactly is? You're right. Hold on. Then based on your little demonstration from before, but I mean, if she's a pop star, right, and if she's trying to be a pop star, 100,000 isn't that many. Um, hold on. Then based on your little demonstration, I can call you Miss Mickey, right? You don't get it. Let's start from the top. I'll just call you Miss Idol then. Ooh, I like that. Hey, do you have anything soft? Soft as in alcohol free? No, I mean soft as in soft. Let's see what I can get you. By flavor. Okay. So this is going to be a thing that I think I'm just going to need to look through everything. Um. <clears throat> oh shit, we are nothing but mammals on oh, Bad Touch. I fucking love this drink. Hey baby, you and me are nothing but mammals. Da, 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 da. Okay, soft. Traditionally brewed. Drink three times in front of a mirror, you look like a fool. Unnecessarily brown, teeth turn blue. Uh, I'm gonna memorize this whole shit, dude. Because I keep reading Smug Assholes is Brantini. Cobalt Velt is Champagne. Knock the drunkenness, or knock you out cold. This sounds like what I want to give her. Fluffy Dream number nine. Um, PG rated shows, unbearable, innards, face, thermometer, relation, pianists, pretty woman, uh, heart on the tongue, uh, sparkle, sweet light fruity, yeah, it looks like it's number nine, we'll give it a number nine. That is three Adele Hyde, three Powder Delta, and she doesn't care if it has alcohol or not, so I'll put that in there. Age and mixed. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. <laughs> Fluffy Dream. I did it for five seconds, which is dangerous, because I think it starts mixing at like five or six. Serve that shit. Try this. Yeah, this'll do it. Thanks. Hey, have you considered being more theatrical when mixing drinks? Huh? Yeah, you know, like spinning bottles and lighting drinks on fire, that kind of stuff. When I was in college, I tried going to a party at once. Uh, the bartender who tried those tricks gave me a nasty bump on the forehead when the bottle slipped his hand. Those kinds of theatrics usually feel pointless and can slow down the process of actually making a drink. Yeah, but never underestimate the power of putting on a good show. It can feel incredible and be very rewarding, you know? I'll keep it in mind. Hmm. Hey, is this glass important? Depends on why you're asking. Do you want me to sign it? Oh, uh, sure, I guess. No guessing. Are you sure or not? Yeah, do as you please. Okay then, who should I make it out to? Maybe for my boss? I wonder if Gil would like it, though. Your name, girl? Oh, for Jill, then. For Jill, never lose your star. From Kira Mickey. 
Oh, that's a pretty autograph. Thanks. No, thank you. I guess, I'm guessing someone with as many fans as you has their fair share of stalkers, right? Well, there are two kinds of people that obsess over me. There are the shy ones that follow me everywhere, hiding just out of sight. And then there's my fan club. What's the difference between them? The fan club follows me around a lot too, but they usually keep a distance. Actually, I think they're outside waiting for me right now. I see. They're also very organized. They'd make pretty good soldiers. The others, the stalkers, are a bit sneakier and don't act in groups. I'm guessing those stalkers must be bothersome, huh? Actually, they're not that bad. Stalkers are nice when you get used to them. I remember once one once protected me from being mugged. There's another that breaks into my house once a week to make me breakfast. <laughs> what? What? And she fails to see the problem? I mean... How would I feel about that? Someone breaks into my house and makes me breakfast. Only to make me breakfast. <clears throat> didn't break anything, didn't steal anything, and just wanted to make me breakfast. It would be real, uh, I'd be like, I wouldn't eat the breakfast because I would be so concerned. That's, that's interesting. That's interesting. I just wish they'd leave my underwear drawer the same way they'd find it. I take pride in how neatly I organize my underwear, you know? I take pride in my old liquor collection. I guess it's the same. No, wait, it isn't. Yeah, you get me, Jill. Okay, one more drink before I go. By now, the stage should be all organized, so the fallout should have settled. Isn't it a bit late for a concert? It's a part of my gimmick. I always make concerts that go from night till dawn. In this one, I'm supposed to close with a song called Sunshine Stone. If everything goes as planned, the and the weather forecast is accurate, the sun should come up just as I reach the climax of the song. I'll be depressed if they ask for your love as a drug as an encore, though. That sounds nice. Hey, I need to make people feel like their tickets were worth the ridiculous price, you know? Don't you think it sucks to pay for something only to find out you shouldn't have bothered? Wow, dude. Yes. All the time. Yeah, one time I bought some expensive coffee in this one cafe, and it tasted just like filthy water with cream. I don't know if it was the coffee or the girl that served it, but it was bad. Man, that sucks. Speaking of which, do you have anything bitter? I really need to wake myself up. Let's see what I can find. For you, I have a lot of bitter stuff, dude. I like the people that are just like, yeah, give me something that's kind of like this. And then I'm like, oh, well, maybe I'll do this. I feel like this is pretty good for you. Gut Punch is good for everybody. Might, might be a little too much. Uh, by flavor, bitter. The suplex. I think that's too much. I don't want to give her too much alcohol because she has a, uh, a shit going on, right? Wow, that's a lot of alcohol. Because the this is alcohol. Um, so putting that much alcohol in it is not very good. Um, it's looking like we gut punch her. Girl, you're gonna need to have you're gonna have this gut punch real quick. I don't want to get you drunk, so. All aged and mixed. So one, two, three, four, stop. All right. <clears throat> I hope this is right. Try this. Yeah, this works. So how was it? How is it? It could be a bit sweeter, but it's delicious. I figured it was for waking you up or something, so. Really nice, thanks. I hope you aren't offended by this question, but... Hmm. I can see that you enjoy what you do, but how much of it is about the music? I'll let you know that before becoming Kira Mickey, I was a very accomplished pianist. 
I had concerts every week and part-timed in bars with a jazz band. I still write and compose my own songs. I love her now already. She, they freaking, I like everybody in this game. <coughs> there hasn't been anybody that's like, you're obvious, I don't like you. Why the change? Going from jazz and piano to idol? Have you thought about the power music has over people? You could argue it's just noise, but it can make you feel a wide range of emotions. And that power is universal. It can transcend language and culture. Being in a jazz band or performing recitals, uh, I can only take that power to so many people. But being an idol, I can take that power and spread it far and wide. Kids and adults, men and women, they all have access to my music, and I can reach every one of them. What music do you like, Jill? I'm not picky, but I do prefer versions with no lyrics. Why? I like to listen to music while working, and lyrics distract me. And besides, it always bothers me when people nonchalantly start singing songs with creepy lyrics. I think only half the listeners actually care what's being about what's being said. Oh, that's a bummer. I give you a copy of my latest CD, but I don't have any at the moment. Don't worry about it. Okay then. I'm out. Thanks for helping me pass the time, Jill. Sure. Please come again. I'll make sure of it. Will she be alright? Yeah, she'll be fine. You'll think she'll come back? Usually I'd say no, but honestly I don't know. Boss, we're done. Alright. You feel like going to that girl's concert? <clears throat> nah, I don't think so. I don't have tickets anyway. Hey boss, does the name Red Comet ring any bells? Why was that... Why that was my moniker during my wrestling days. Your... huh? That's what they called me uh, during my time in the Grand Slam Fighters. They saw me coming, but they couldn't stop me before I crashed into their heads. Any reason for being red specifically? That way I was three times faster. How did you find that out? Do you like wrestling? A client mentioned it yesterday when he saw you. I just kind of remembered it. Ah, I see. I should take you to a pro or a wrestling match <coughs> sometime. You'll like it. Maybe. In any case, Gil's cleaning the glasses today, so I'll leave now. Take care. Oh, and boss? Don't carry it. <laughs> Don't cram anything on your head without thinking, please. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Total earnings: six uh, drinks total one thousand one hundred. Mistakes zero. Commission thirty percent. Today's payment boom. Uh, flawless service bonus five hundred boom. So our flawless service pretty much just makes up for that snack there. Snack on the way home. It's on me. Today's total transfer, today's total funds, I have 4,000. That is awesome. Jill is humming, your love is a drug. Buying the song will prevent her from getting too distracted. I'm curious what not buying it will do, but I'm not up for it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the shop and buy it. How much is this? It's 300. I don't want to pay, pay for anything I don't need to. Is that what this is? Your love is a... Your love is a drug? It's got... It's the only thing. Cool. Jill bought what she wanted and she's pleased with herself. She'll surely focus at work. <clears throat> I just want to look at some stuff. Real quick. What's on the... What's going on? Dangerous. So, like... <coughs> stop forcing Alice. So we hate Alice now? Good. Oh, well, yeah. I remember Cybercrime when you know. That font. Oh boy, it's happening. Spooky font. The face one. I just got out of jail. I'm not going back. You know this happens. Hi, cybercrime. You know, I just want to let you know that I'm not. But in fact, your mom. Interesting. Miki concert. Did that one a lot. Left. In the last thread, Anon hates fun. I don't want fights. What's wrong with being a guy in danger you? What the fuck? 
We well, assume you're a girl anyway. Fuck off. Um, dudes endanger you. <laughs> Uh, let's go back to the concert. You stupid idiots still care about petty shit like this. He started- this sounds- People are- people have- people are doing a really good job of replicating the internet via text. I gotta say. Like, dang and Rampa did it- what the fuck are you? Kira Mickey blog. Thanks, GC. Boy, I love this place. So much energy, so much love. I feel the optimism in the air. I, even after all the struggles, you still come to see me and I got to experience I'm beyond speechless. That said, I'm excited to announce I have a second date in the city. It wasn't easy to set up, but I'm so happy my agency. This is by far the biggest show and I can't wait. Aw, she's like an idol. She's like an actual idol. This is like a, a message from like a Korean. I'm going to perform all your favorite songs. Please be excited. Just one little request. Please don't stand outside the waiting uh, a stadium for me, or my bodyguards will get angry at you. I wouldn't like to see you hurt, so please don't do it. Um, it's been very hectic as of late, so I'd like to share with you what I do to relax on rooftops. Wow. I am just straight up reading Kira Mickey's blog. I gotta stop, uh, the episode here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm just, kind of, like, there's so much, there's so much to read. <coughs> just in this, just in this, there's so much fucking to read that you... You could like sit here for like hours. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button. I really appreciate it. Also, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Lots of uh, roguelike and visual novel stuff on the channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode of this, which is hopefully sooner than uh, the last time I upload a full of video. I will see you guys in the next episode, whatever it may be. And uh, peace out, you guys.